Halloween night 2016 was supposed to be a fun evening spent with friends. Instead, it turned out to be the last time anyone had seen Jeremy Jourdain. Tonight, friends and family gathered in the Northeast Indian Community Development Center for a fundraiser to add to his reward. I have a hard time believing that we're still having to do these sort of things. Just try to keep it in my son. Jeremy was 17 at the time of his disappearance. He's described as six foot four, around 175 pounds, Native American male with dark hair. We've brought in uh, U.S. Forest Service, we've brought in the FBI, we've had multiple agencies, and even some private organizations, some private search groups, uh, NECMEC, uh, we've had um, the Center for Missing and Exploited Children has assisted, so we, we've had lots of agencies that have really helped out. The in the past year, police say they have followed more than 120 leads. Searches by air and water have been done. Family and friends have also held their own searches and have even offered a reward for Jeremy's safe return. I realize the family's been hurting. The family's been hurting for a long time and they really need closure to this. They need an answer. They need to find Jeremy. We're always going to try. We're always going to do events. Police say the search for Jordan will continue until new evidence is found. We're at the point now where we really need people who have information to come forward and share that information. Perhaps there's reluctancy and fear, and we can do as much as we can to keep people or keep the information that we get as tips anonymous, but we need some place. We need information to uh, continue this investigation. We love Jeremy. We need him home with us. Um, it's really hard on our family to not know where he is or what happened. And I want someone to come forward and let us know what happened. But somebody out there knows what happened to my son. As hunting season approaches, police are asking locals to check their land and outbuildings and encourage deer hunters to check cabins and hunting lands. In Bemidji, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. Police say all information is useful in the case, no matter how small you may think it is. If you have a tip, you're supposed to call the Bemidji Police Department, 218-333-9111. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.